Lane, folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back and in the land of grills. We got the grill grill out there. You're looking at this one. I'm gonna leave the link down below, but this is one of the most unique pellet grills on the market. About the same size as a Weber. It is the same size as a Weber 22 inch. Stainless steel grates, stainless steel grease, grease tray that goes out the back. You can see where the light comes out there. Got a half rack on top, PID controller. You're saying, where's that? That's tucked in right there. And pellet hopper, it's huge. Goes all the way down there. And it has a pellet dump. And <laughs> so many cool things going on. The shelves in the back are stainless steel. You're wondering what that's for? And that's how you uh, move it around. So it's got three wheels. And then you just, when you want to put it down, you just put it on there and it don't move anything. And then uh, move it around, you, just like that. Pretty cool. We're gonna do some bacon wrapped turkey legs. I've never done bacon wrapped turkey legs that when they get done, then I'm gonna dunk them in some barbecue sauce. Oh man, gonna be so good. Let's take a look at the turkey legs. We'll get this fired. All right, so we're doing a bacon wrap on, wrap on them. I am uh, doing a bacon weave. Uh, and folks, this just makes it look cooler in my opinion. Uh, but we're just did our bacon weave. And I've shown you how to do this before. This is so simple to do. You wanna impress people, folks, uh, like do a meatloaf with bacon weave or one of the pork things that I do, pork tenderloin, and uh, people like to do those in bacon. Do it in a bacon weave. And uh, I'll tell you what, everybody will be like, whoa, this is, how did you do that? And you're just gonna be able to back and go, hey, Tom Horseman on YouTube. That, that's what I would do, but it doesn't have to be what you do. And there we go. Now remember, as this bacon cooks, it will tighten up. So that's the great thing about it. And I got enough bacon for two, but not for, not for three. So, man, make sure you're washing your hands real good. You're dealing with, uh, uh, with poultry here. Uh, so always make sure you wash your hands. So let's uh, get them on the grill. A little seasoning on the bacon there. This is for my buddy Darren at Fire & Water. This is blueberry and black garlic seasoning, folks. And the uh, smell of it is... Man, I'll tell you what, that black garlic, if you haven't had black garlic before, <laughs> check it out because it's phenomenal. On the grill. All right, uh, take a second here just to talk about a few things about the, uh, the controller. I'm just going to say PID. It is in the PID mode. A lot of people told me this is a very unique controller, and uh, it, it is, and I'm still kind of learning it. So when I got it, it was set up in the pro mode, and I, I kind of figured maybe that was PID, but it wasn't. It had some bigger swings, which was making more visible smoke, but... We all know we want to be in PID, and PID what gives you the best control. So you have to go into the select button here and play around, and you can change it from Pro to PID. There's a whole bunch of other things that you can change on this, and uh, you can do a, a lot of that from, sorry about that. You can do a lot of that from the app, and I do have the app running right now. Hang on, you don't need to see my phone code though. Uh, let's go to uh, Grill Grills. Um, so you can, change your auger minimum speed your rtd offset uh to kind of dial it in with what 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 more the reality is on your because the, the rtd probe is what tells the pid the temps are but it's only measuring at the tip it's not necessarily always measuring that grill grade level so that gives you the opportunity to change it and, and there's a lot of cool things going on here that they give you you know gorilla gives you gives you the opportunity to make your own adjustments and changes let's take a look at that, uh, like I said, right now we're set at 225. It does count in five degree increments. And uh, got them on. Sweet. And they also said, a lot of people have told me that since it's such a tight grill, it's best to cook with the lid cracked just a tad. And I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm listening to you folks. So let's keep on going here. So pellets do make a difference, folks. You always want to use hard wood pellets. I get the stuff from B&B, &B, Championship Blend, Pecan Cherry, Post Oak. It's, in my opinion, the best pellets on the market. All right, folks, a little over hour, 225, 225 is what's set at. Take a look now, I did not have it full here. It was up to maybe about right about here. So we've burned a couple inches of pellets. Let's take a look at our, I love that pulse mode. When it gets up to temp, it just starts to pulse. Yeah, nice color. We're gonna turn these up three, yeah, I think 325. And uh, we'll do it from the app, I'll show you. All right, so from the app, go to temp here, and then we're just gonna take our finger and just take this up to 315. That looks good to me. And uh, that's it, that's all you gotta do. All right, so at the grill, you can see, yep, 
with the 315. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. All right, I set it up to 335 because it is almost five o'clock and I'm getting hungry. Uh, now remember, internal temp on turkey, this is dark meat. So if it's 185, I'm okay with that. But look at that color. Oh, man, that looks good. Now we're gonna put some of this triple B and fire water on there. And just, uh, usually I would dunk if this was chicken legs, but uh, since it's turkey, <laughs> I'm not gonna dunk. Finish this up, give you a look, see the final product. All right, it's been about five minutes. I'm sure they're gonna be hot. But uh, we've got the uh, fire and water blueberry black garlic seasoning. And then the same thing here, this triple B blueberry balsamic black garlic on the Gorilla Grills. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a taste test out of that one. Let's try it. All right, plenty of moisture there. Um, oh, man. Oh, wow. You know, bite. All right, yeah, it's kind of bacon's kind of falling apart. That's actually wow. That's actually delicious, folks. <laughs> Gotta try that bacon on your turkey turkey legs, and then a little bit of this uh, blueberry black garlic seasoning along with the uh, triple B from Fire and Water. Oh man, so good. Tom Horseman YouTube. Check out Gorilla Grills also. That is a, a really interesting pellet grill. Works very well in that controller on there. Got a lot of features that a lot of other controllers don't have. Thanks for watching, folks.